What is going on, everybody? It is Lucas here, a.k.a. the Michael Jordan of vlogging. How are you guys doing today? So, we have a lot to talk about in today's video. Um, so, basically, last night after I got done filming, short, not right after I got done filming, but shortly after, about an hour and a half to two hours after I got done filming, I went to lay down to go to bed, and first thing I see as I lay down, literally, I lay down, and the first thing I see is that Donald Trump, the President of the United States, had been diagnosed with the coronavirus. I don't know what I was going to say there, but diagnosed with COVID-19. Now, this is a very weird and, 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 like, scary thing for the U.S., I think. We don't know what's going to happen if, you know, how bad it's going to get. Apparently, it's just a mild case. And I don't normally talk about politics in my videos, but this is pretty, pretty severe, pretty crazy. Um, it's, it's very, it's just crazy to think about. And that's been all that the news has been talking about today, which, obviously, understandable, but... Still crazy to think, um, they talked about what happens, like, what what point would he have to give up his duties as president, um, what he would have to do to relinquish those duties. I heard some rumors saying that he might actually, um, like, be taken off the ballot if he can't perform his duties. It's just, like, a really crazy thing. Um, while I am not a Trump supporter, um, I do, I would like to publicly... Uh, wish him and his wife um, well wishes. Um, n the amount of hate and stuff I've seen on Twitter this morning, because um, it was technically this morning when I saw it um, at like 1am, is just unbelievable. And like, I I, I was kind of questioning who I was following for a little while, um, because you should never, um, I, I feel like you should never um, say things that were said. Um, obviously, it sucks that he has it, and, um, like I said, wishing him and his wife, Melania, who also has it, well wishes. Um, but I'm moving forward to today's vlog today. Uh, was a really weird day. I had class day where my teacher and I just kind of talked about stuff, and my teacher and I just talking, um, about that and about stuff, about everything going on. Um, so yeah, that was pretty fun. Then I had to do some work, had to do some phone calls, make some phone calls. Uh, which is fun. I have to get my flu shot on Monday, which is not going to be fun. Um, what else did I do today? That's about it. Took a shower because I needed a shower. But uh, <clears throat> trying to clean up my room a little bit. Um, I have some stuff coming. That's one thing that I did. I bought some upgrades for my 3D printer. And um, that stuff will be here next Thursday. It sucks that I don't have Prime. That's one thing that I wish I had was Prime. But I don't. So, yeah, it sucks. Uh, but now, as I said, I'm gonna, going to be doing a horror movie review. I don't really want to necessarily call it a review because it, it, my review yesterday sucked dick. Um, my review yesterday just sucked, so I don't want to do it a, call it a review. More like a, a my thoughts on, I guess it was just technically still a review, but my thoughts on horror movies, um, unless I watch them fully. Because, like, for right now... I haven't had time to watch a horror movie. This weekend, I'm going to probably binge watch a couple. Well, actually, this weekend, I'm going to binge watch um, The Walking Dead. I'm in the mid-season finale right now. Um, and I'll be watching <clears throat> uh, more of that tonight. Or I'm going to finish this one tonight. I have 42 minutes left of it. So uh, I'm going to finish this one tonight. Maybe go into the new like season B or half season, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, I don't really want to do exactly a review. Just more like a conversation about a movie. Um... So yesterday, like I said, it sucked, and I, I hate that. I wish I would have watched the movie, and I haven't had time to watch a movie, a horror movie. I've just been so busy with school, and you guys know that. You guys understand that I have school. That's my numero uno priority. All right, guys, so today we're going to be talking about Child's Play, the newest version, which came out, I believe, last year. It might have came out this year, but I think it was last year. I don't really remember. Uh, but Child's Play, the newest version, um, starring Audrey Plaza, which um, Audrey Plaza, Audrey or Aubrey? Uh, one of my favorite actresses of all time. Loved her on Parks and Rec and in, um, what was she in? It's like a comedy movie. It was really weird. First of all, I want to say that the one thing that they kind of took away from the new movies, from the old movies, was the fact that the whole, um, voodoo aspect of the movie, um, I thought that played a very big component in, um, Child's Play 1, 2, 3, uh, all the way into Seed of Chucky and, um, all the way into, like, Curse and, um, Cult. So, 
Ooh. <laughs> I just freaked out. Uh, anyway, um, so that's the one thing that I thought was missing from this movie for one. Um, I do, and I don't like that they made this, kind of make this kind of um, technology-based. That's the whole premise of the movie. That's why the Chucky doll, the good guy doll, is evil now because um, the manufacturer kind of set it to be evil, which was really a weird thing. Um, I Like I said, I preferred the voodoo aspect of that. Um, but honing back to the original movie, there there is some, like, callbacks to the original movie. Um, for instance, um, the mother trying to get the good guy doll, um, and can't get it because it's sold out everywhere. So she gets it from this sketchy, sketchy dude, um, off the back of a truck at her store that she works at. Another, like, like, like I said, they do take out, um, they did take out a lot of, um, stuff from the original that I wish they would have kept in, but sadly that didn't happen. Um, like I'm trying to think like exactly all the, the stuff that kind of, they took out and I can't think right now, but just some stuff they should, they should, they should have left in. Um, I, again, honing back to the voodoo thing, but, um, we're going to stop talking about that. Um, Neo. Um, Again, technology plays a big part in this movie, and I get that they were kind of bringing it into the 21st century. I get that, but I also think that it kind of took away from it, because, like, it, to me, made it... almost unrealistic. And I know, I know that sounds weird, but that's just how I felt about it. Unrealistic. Um, now, another thing I want to kind of talk about is I will be kind of ranking the, uh, previous franchise because this is a new franchise, which by the way, they're, they are starting a new, um, they are starting a new show and I don't remember if it's based off of the original or the previous. I have to look into that. Very interesting movie to say the least. Um, I, I, as I said, like, it's just missing stuff. It's missing, um, aspects of the original. Um, the one thing that they brought in that I, that wasn't in the original is that the, um, the mom, whose name I can't remember, <laughs> I need to look these things up before I fucking film these. Uh, she has a boyfriend in the movie and it doesn't happen in the original. Um, and another thing that happens is, um, instead of like, the mom not believing it, uh, or getting murdered. Um, it like ends with like her believing it. So it kind of made it so where they wouldn't do a sequel, but then they set up for a sequel. So it was really weird. It was just a very weird movie overall. Um, I'm going to give it a, an, a, a seven out of 13, mainly because I know, like I said, I know they're kind of stupid trying to stray away, I know they're trying to stray away from the originals, but they're also kind of making it almost a whole new movie where you don't really, like, get, you get it, but you don't get it, it's just weird, it's a weird, so that's why I'm giving it the rating, but, um, it's worth the, to check out to see if you guys like it, I might, um, do a comparison one day of them, I don't know if I will or not, um, but yeah, um, so, also today, is the anniversary of Tom Petty's passing, um, which sucks because Tom Petty was one of my favorite artists. He was literally, and I put this on uh, Instagram and Twitter. I put this on Instagram and Twitter that uh, Tom Petty was the to my summer of 2017, and I mean that 100. Um, percent Haley and I listened to Tom Petty a lot that summer, and we almost went to one of his concerts. He was in Milwaukee for Summerfest uh, on his 40th anniversary tour. Unfortunately, it didn't happen because um, just things didn't work out. It was way too late. Um, we almost, almost, we actually, we actually almost went and seen uh, MGK as well. That that uh, was it. That year or is it the next year? That was in two thousand eighteen, or no, that was last year actually. No, because I wasn't here. That was two thousand eighteen. Yeah, because it was like right before I left. Yeah, because he was at Wrigley Field in September. So. I just remember random stuff, but, uh, 
yeah. Um, anyway, um, rest in peace, Tom Petty. You're greatly missed. So obviously we're going to do a Tom Petty song for Song of the Day today. And that is going to be Into the Great Wide Open because that is one of my favorite Tom Petty songs of all time. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, tomorrow we're going to actually do a better review, I hope. I know these reviews have been shitty, but I'm actually going to, like, sit down and, like, watch a movie and write about it. So, yeah, actually, I already have a movie that I'm going to do tomorrow, and I'm going to maybe rewatch it. I haven't decided. But, uh, yeah. So, anyway, guys, I'll see you tomorrow as always. I hope you had a beautiful day. Peace and rock on.